It's about 9 p.m. here in the Jibawu area of Lagos State. Using the cover of the night as shield, motorpack touts hustle for long-distance travelers. Posing as intended passengers will strike a conversation on how their vehicles move even during the lockdown. If you get police escort, you can move in the road. No, boss, with the load, the Siena. No, Siena car. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Siena. Yeah. Yeah. Like, like how much? 15,000 yeah. naira. Yes. So, what's that cost? What's that cost? 17, yeah. over the 15. Now, do you need the 15? Be need 13,000. Please. Then, worry 15. Police, not the worry of the road. Yeah. Yeah. At the Oyibo area of the state, a few vehicles are also carrying out the nocturnal business. To know how these vehicles and others like them get in and out of Lagos at the beggar end of the Lagos Ibadan Expressway, our cameras capture some of the moments security operatives who cut across different agencies, compromising the discharge of their duties, taking kickbacks from motorists, even from those on essential service delivery, under the cover of darkness. And even during daytime. It would appear that these security operatives do not understand the weight of the responsibility placed on their shoulders as gatekeepers in the crucial fight against COVID-19. However, these individual agents do not represent all, as there are other security operatives who have carried out their work dutifully, intercepting some unlawful travelers. As the total lockdown eases gradually in Lagos, Ogun, and the FCT, new nationwide COVID-19 preventive measures, which include curfew between 8 p.m. and 6 a.m. and ban on non-essential interstate passenger travel begin. The effectiveness of these measures will partly be dependent on the security agencies carrying out their duties diligently without compromise and abuse of human rights. And the people also bearing in mind that coronavirus can only move when carried by humans.